When delegates from around the world convene at the United Nations to talk about water, Brooke Thompson will be among them, bringing the story of her tribe's efforts to save their river. The Klamath River, which flows from Oregon to the California coast, has supported human life for thousands of years. The Yurok people and other tribes living along its banks have for millennia depended on the Klamath for an abundant source of one of nature's most perfect foods, salmon. When I was a kid, fishing was my entire summer. I would be right here on this land, camping all summer long. In 2002, when Thompson was just seven, she witnessed the worst ever fish die-off in the western United States. It was the most shocking indicator of a decades-long decline in fish and river health, caused in part by a series of dams on the Klamath. The event sparked a movement. Klamath tribes and environmentalists called for dam removal, and Thompson says it determined the course of her life. I specifically went into engineering because of the tragedy I saw here on the Klamath River, and that really gave me a passion to figure out what was going wrong. And so, right, there's two parts of that for me, like what went wrong environmentally and what went wrong politically to make this happen. Having a lack of temperature tolerance is one of the things that has led to some of the fish kills that we see. In a first for her family, Thompson earned a master's degree at Stanford University and is currently a PhD student at the University of California, Santa Cruz, studying environmental engineering and political science. Speaking at last year's climate change conference in Egypt, she received some very good news from home. The Klamath dams were finally coming down after 20 years of activism. It's one of my larger goals with these conferences is to try to figure out how we can support fellow indigenous peoples around the world so they don't have to deal with the same issues we have. Even if I do work that may seem impossible in the moment, but there's even a chance for these solutions around climate change and tribal sovereignty, indigenous sovereignty, and water rights, then I'm going to keep working for it. Thompson fears that developing countries are building new hydroelectric dams to meet renewable energy mandates without adequately considering impacts to the environment and to indigenous people. I'd like to see more of us behind those closed doors and negotiations. Matt Dibble for VOA News, Santa Cruz, California.